на 15 годишната Луси се играе от 24 годишната актриса Елоис Смит, която има зад гърба си опит в няколко други сериала и в криминален филм за лондонския нощен живот. Well, we're gonna start with Lucy. Mm. What do you think, what do you like about Lucy? I think there's an innocence to Lucy, um, especially in series one. Um, there's a kind of hopefulness, a naivety, which is really endearing. But what appeals to me most, and I think it's probably because I'm, that's more similar to me, is her, her strength and her resilience and, and And yeah, her relationship with her family is beautiful. She's very supportive to her family. How do you feel about her relationship with Charlotte? You end up sharing a man without Yeah, really but I, I you know, I think that yes, that is really bizarre when you apply it to modern day, but I think things like that happened back then. You know, um, they're harlots, they sell sex for money, that's their profession. And it's to have to whoever is buying. Um, and he's a very powerful man, Sir George Howard. But their relationship is an impeccably strong relationship. There's this unspoken energy of almost that they would, they, you know, they would take a bullet for each other. And it's, that's the case for all the Wells women with, with Margaret and, and Nancy Birch as well is totally part of that. Well, when you knew that you were going to work with Samantha Morton, what mm -hmm. did you know about her and which movie? Did you want to see? Our, our worlds were slightly connected in some ways. Um, a lot of my friends and family friends knew Sam, but I didn't know what to expect, really. I wouldn't have read any sort of press on her, really, but I was just so amazed when I met her. She's so warm, so supportive, really loving, um, and a right laugh and really good at what she does. I couldn't have been happier to have her play my mother. I was so lucky, really, really lucky. And we're still in touch now, you know. How do you feel wearing the costumes? <laughs> it changes your manner. It really does change your manner, you know, like... I can see you have a very different styling from yeah, um, for sure. Lucy. <laughs> Not, yeah, for <laughs> sure. I tried to keep a little bit for Lucy in series one because she's young. I tried to keep a bit of a sort of slouch um, and those sort of younger um, mannerisms. But it does change, you know, there's a... She kind of... She has some different outfits in series two, and I kind of noticed myself suddenly doing all of that and, and moving differently. You said that you really liked creating worlds for yourself as a mm -hmm. child, and that made you uh, become an actress. What were some of the films that made you become an actress? What was something that you watched and I you just, said, Whoa. When I was little, one of the ones that I remember really, uh, really kind of sticking with me was uh, The Secret Garden. And, um, This little girl is like, she's kind of alone a lot and she's, and she's trying to, I suppose, entertain herself and she's off kind of playing in this garden. And I, I think I spent like, every day for like a week, like eight hours in the garden. What would you look for in a project that will follow? Something um, completely different or? I don't know really. Um, I don't know if I would want it to be different. I think ultimately, um, you know, in-depth characters, not just sort of one pan. You know, we're, humans are complicated and they can feel uh, different things at different at the same time, you know? Um, you, can, you can hate someone and love someone at the same time. Is uh, Los Angeles and Hollywood the ultimate place and slash dream for an actor, you think? I think there's a lot out there um, for an actor, you know, there's, it's, it's sort of, you know, it's seen as the ultimate, I guess, but I think you can get great work anywhere. Um, it's just about the project and who you're working with. How important do you think it was for your career and choice of profession to grow up in an artistic family and how important is their support for you and obviously your partner as well? Yeah, um, their support is really important to me. I've always been a little bit of like a lone ranger I'm pretty tough on my own, but my, the support for my family is so appreciated and less so much support their interest, you know, like if I call them and say, I've done this today, I've done this today, they care and they're interested, you know, it's, it's they enjoy the conversation about it, that's really important. Um, and I think growing up 
in an atmosphere where I was free to feel and behave the way I wanted to behave was so, so important. I found normal schooling quite difficult because I think it was very constricted and there was a lot of freedom in my household, a lot of laughing. I used to do like catwalks over the dinner table and I was allowed to do that. Like, cool. Yeah, <laughs> so I think, you know, that's really important to feel free and not, and not restricted. I think that's really important. So what is a way for you to relax and sort of cleanse yourself from the pressure of a character? I listen to a lot of music. If I'm at home, there's, the speakers are always on full, um, a lot of loud music. Um, and important conversations with friends and families, a few deep and meaningfuls every now and again are very important, yeah. I guess that helps. <laughs> Thank you very much. My pleasure, <laughs> thank you. Thank you.